The Washington Post is a award-winning news organization uh, producing high-quality journalism powered by cutting-edge technology. Uh, the Post is headquartered in Washington, D.C. Uh, we have uh, offices around the world. And uh, in April 2016, we recorded 64 million unique readers, according to Comscore. So we're running many different applications. Uh, that was one of the challenges that we had to solve. Uh, we wanted to build actually a continuous deployment system uh, that supported many different programming languages and many different applications. Uh, and it, that was challenging. Um, and so we looked for Docker uh, as one of the solutions to that. Um, Docker served as a common unit of deployment that would allow us to unify our tools around that. And what we found is that teams really uh, gravitated towards that type of system. And so we got a lot of teams building really small applications because the cost of building an application was so small with Docker and this continuous deployment environment that we'd built. Uh, and as a result, uh, they also converted some legacy applications as well to Docker because they wanted to make use of the same technology stack. The two Docker tools we leverage the most are Docker Engine and Docker Compose. We particularly like Docker Compose. We've gravitated towards using it as our common runtime configuration for our cluster management systems because it's a very easy way for developers to uh, describe how they want to run their application on a cluster. We've really evangelized Docker within, within the Washington Post and uh, so we're used by a lot of other teams like, uh, for example, the news analytics system is built on this, uh, the personalization service for news, um, and we've even had applications built by journalists that are deployed. In fact, we had one application that was used uh, to power, it was used to collect data on police shootings. It was used for an award-winning article series. One of the surprising things we found with Docker is that it also provided a great way of sharing best practices. So engineers would share Docker containers, either through you know, inheriting Docker containers or sharing Docker files that would allow them to quickly bootstrap new applications. Uh, we had engineers writing applications in a matter of hours and deploying them into production. Uh, which is really exciting and something that we couldn't do before. And then our continuous deployment and cluster technologies allowed teams to focus on the application rather than the server infrastructure. So it really led to an increase in the number of applications being built and the, the speed they were deployed. And so we didn't specifically say you have to use a Docker or you have to make your application run on Docker. It just was like, wow, this is something that's really easy to use. And everyone got excited about using it and they naturally learned Docker along the way.